I wouldn't say I'm scared for labor. <laughs> I'm hungry as soon as I open my eyes. you go the more distance between appointments you have so I'm very looking forward to seeing the developments I think he should be pretty big now I'm like three and a half you can see the fingers yeah the legs. yeah you can see a lot more Bones. <laughs> every time I come to an appointment I have to do this P test before I see the doctor I think it's for gestational diabetes like to check my sugar levels could be other things too but yeah Hello. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. It's been one month, right, since we yes. saw him. Yeah. Oh. This is what I call a 3D. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Because this is the camera and ah. this is the back of the baby, so that's why we look from the back. Ah. <laughs> See where the baby will turn, and then we can have a good pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> everything's fine. Everything's good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. So did way, so worry. Yeah. <laughs> but right, you are a small size mommy. I just make yeah, sure I want to push him out. It's not worry. It's just very early. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but weight wise, am I on the normal Your weight? Your weight is okay. Yeah. Too much. It's okay. Okay. I think it's huge. The head, the head is huge. <laughs> He's smart. My mom sent us a package and on the like uh, customs form, it says that it's baby clothes. So I think it will be our very first outfit. I have refrained from buying anything. Sometimes I still think it's not real. It's weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, we haven't bought anything besides the pillow. Oh, oh, little dinosaur. <laughs> Thank you, mom. <laughs> That's so crazy that like this is gonna be. Today's Mid Autumn Festival that is kind of like Thanksgiving for Chinese culture. It's it's the beginning of fall where you eat a huge meal with your family, probably the biggest meal of the year. And there's many auspicious foods that you can include to have different meanings, of course. There's always different meanings be behind things. And people light lanterns and just be together to celebrate. Couples from two different cultures and or countries equals double the holidays. So tonight I am going to attempt to make some Chinese dishes. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm not even gonna attempt to make the meats because I am nowhere near confident enough to make them good yet. I'm gonna order them, but I'm gonna do the veggies because I think I can handle those. The Louis Vuitton team just sent me this giant bouquet of flowers to congratulate us on our pregnancy. So nice of them. Look how pretty these are. Thank you guys. We're gonna make the dinner table look extra nice today. Do you want to help? Do you want to help? Yeah. One of the dishes I'm making tonight is savory pumpkin pancakes, although it is a little bit sweet because it's got some sugar in it. A lot of Asian cooking has a mixture of flavors, whether it's sweet, salty, sour, spicy, it's always very complex. So yeah, there's a little bit of sugar, but uh, got my sous chef here. Testing the pumpkin. Is it okay? It's approved.
All right, it is mooncake time. So this is a traditional dessert we have during mid-autumn festival and there's all different ones. The traditional ones have egg yolk inside, but now they've modernized it. You can find ice cream and red bean and all different things. So a lot of brands work really hard to create really special packaging for this specific festival. And then they send them out to clients or friends pass them around. So just wanted to show you guys, this is Tiffany's design this year. It's a spaceship going to the moon. These are the moon cakes that were inside. This is Harry Winston's, it's a rabbit. And inside are these moon cakes and some tea. This is McCullen's. And I also got some earlier from Mandarin Oriental. But yeah, they're all different flavors and just look so pretty. It's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. It's more triangle, not round. Yeah, that's a sign of a boy, apparently. Low and triangle. So round is like you will get rounder everywhere, higher and to the sides, but boy is like out. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting my very first personal training session today. Up until this point, I have gone to the gym regularly since I was about, I wanna say 13? Yeah, I think 13 was my dad. I used to go work out with him and that's when I, uh, yeah, got into my healthier lifestyle, healthier, more active lifestyle. But since then, I've just gone to the gym myself. I've done classes. Um, that's pretty much it. This is the first time that I'm going to be working with a personal trainer and that's because I want to make sure that I'm doing everything correctly and I won't be harming my baby or harming my body for the future with recovery after pregnancy. Basically what I want to work on is getting stronger, especially in my back and my arms. They're very weak and um, my posture is not the best and I have to say it's getting worse. I heard that you start to like fall forward a bit more as a baby baby gets heavier so I really just want to strengthen my back muscles and be able to support my baby. And my trainer is also going to do breathing techniques with me to help me with labor, also pelvic floor exercises. So it's going to be a mixture of preparing for labor, strengthening, working on posture and balance. I wouldn't say I'm scared for labor. I, <laughs> I've throughout this journey with conceiving and through my pregnancy, I've realized that Everything that I expected to happen did not happen. It definitely didn't go the way I planned. So I've learned to just really go with the flow. I mean, I've I've asked people about their experiences with delivery and pregnancy and every single story I hear is completely different. So I know that my experience is gonna be really different. So I've learned to just not worry about it too much and just take things as they come, but prepare the best I can. That is key. Um, that's one thing I've learned with modeling because you never know what's gonna happen. You never know when you're gonna get an audition. You never know if you're gonna book their job or not. So all you could do was prepare and always be ready as best as you can um, for the opportunity to come. So that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm starting this workout now that I'm in my second trimester and things are a little bit more stable. Yeah, just learning as I go and enjoying every minute along the way. sent me another two packages. I think she's so excited. Swaddle. Dog swaddle. Oh my god. <laughs> Wild bear. Oh, that's my favorite. 
Oh yeah, and a ketchup one. <laughs> I need it right now. Oh my god. Oh. Mmm. I'm dying for these. <laughs> And more. <laughs> There's six bags so of them. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Thank you, Mom. It's all for Mom? Yeah. Alex sent one too, and Carly. I told Carly I was craving these, and then she told everyone in my family, and I think everyone's sending me them now, so it worked out perfectly. Because <laughs> I opened one. These are like gold. You have limited resources. <laughs> okay. I just have half of it. <laughs> you can eat all. I love you that much. My current obsession is tomato, specifically toast with mayo, QP mayo if I'm more precise, and uh, tomatoes with salt and pepper. This is a thing I always ate as a kid growing up in Canada. I think it's kind of a Canadian thing. I know some places in the US also make this, um, but yeah, I've been eating this pretty much every day. So I love this. I love like margarita pizza, tomato sauce on pasta. Uh, what else have I been eating? A lot of tomato soup. <laughs> the other day, I think it was Saturday, I had this for breakfast, tomato soup for lunch, and this for dinner. <laughs> Ratatouille. Oops. Huh? Oh yeah, and then of course the ketchup mini crisp. Mm. We've come to Sogo to get some ingredients for cooking and I'm going to buy my first pair of Japanese really high quality knives. I've been practicing a lot of cooking for the past few years and I feel like I am ready for an upgrade. My knives are completely dull. Uh, don't work that great. So I'm not gonna go for like the super expensive ones, but I don't know, we're, we're gonna have a look and I'm gonna get something. I feel like an adult now. <laughs> knives excite me. <laughs> Beautiful, but out of my budget. <laughs> oh. Even the smallest knife is over a hundred dollars. This is over a thousand US just for one knife. Okay, I'll put that dream on hold. I am a high end chef. Too, too high. Sounds <laughs> a good deal. This is on sale for half off. And these knives are also really good quality. Everything we need in here.
Oh, I think I can put some ginkgo. This will be good inside. Pumpkin will be good inside too. I just came home and passed out for an hour and now I just woke up feeling so good and I'm gonna get ready to make dinner because basically I do a lot of sleeping and eating now. On my app it said that he's going through a growth spurt so I think that's happening right now because yeah I get tired pretty easy and then I get hungry pretty easy. In between that I try and work and chew and work out or do whatever I gotta do, run errands. Yeah. Afternoons definitely need the hour nap. It makes me feel so much better. <laughs> you are so needy now. Are you a mama's girl? <laughs> Do you want to be my head? Should I just remove my head and put you there? Let me chickens. Hmm? Gonna help mom cook again? Gonna help mom cook? Are you gonna help? Yeah? Okay, let's do it. So I ended up going for this set that I showed you because it was at a really good price. But what I also like about it is it's a good selection of knives. I really needed a bread knife specifically. And uh, there's sharpeners built into it at the bottom. So you don't want to sharpen your knives too much or else you're going to wear them down. But you can, if you don't need to sharpen it, which is most days, you have to pull it up and out. And then when you insert it, you put it at the top and in and down so it doesn't touch the sharpener. And then if you do need to sharpen it, you just put it in at the bottom. So if you lift it and put it in at the top, it doesn't sharpen. And if you lift it and put it in at the bottom, it does sharpen. So that is pretty cool, it's all in one. Now I will never have dull knives. So I bought this nice pot when I was in Stoko, besides the knives, because I've been wanting one of these for a while and I didn't realize, but this pot is really troublesome. It's really malfun. You have to do a bunch of stuff before you use it for the first time. I have to put a bit of rice in there and then I have to fill it up with water about 80% and put it on low heat and keep cooking it until the rice is thoroughly cooked. And then I have to let it cool down for three to four hours before removing it. So this is so that this doesn't break and also because it's quite porous inside. So you need the starch of the rice to kind of seal it and then after that you're good to go you always need to cook on medium to low temperature never any higher but yeah it's like a very delicate pot that makes really delicious rice if you can do it so i am going to prepare this and i guess tonight will be delivery I also bought some chestnuts because I was going to put them inside the rice but I think I need to roast them first so maybe I'm going to roast them tonight because it's such a full thing. Can pregnant women eat chestnuts? I swear I google this. Like, Can pre pregnant women eat? Can pregnant women wear? Can pregnant women do? 20 times a day. In general, things, everything seems to be pretty much okay in moderation. Oh. Chestnuts are packed with vital nutrients that are essential for pregnant women. Protein, fat, calcium, iron, phosphorus, zinc, and vitamins.
Central. Now we're heading to the digital art event here. I'm gonna change my outfit and shoot something from there. It looks really cool. first digital art fair in Hong Kong and this room is really cool for Instagram photos and videos. It keeps changing. I have to eat breakfast. Huh? I'm hungry as soon as I open my eyes. Alright, going to do my full nails. <laughs> <laughs> 